We work on tissue culture models of the blood-brain barrier. And I'll briefly explain what the blood-brain barrier is. Basically, if you imagine that this is a blood vessel inside the brain, the molecules that are actually in the blood are prevented, many of them, from getting into the brain. And that means that about 95% of the potentially useful drugs that could be used to treat brain tumors, multiple sclerosis, Alzheimer's disease, and so on, don't actually get into the brain. And so the pharmaceutical industry spends a lot of time and effort trying to develop ways of getting around that. And our work has been developing in vitro models that can work to replace the uh, in vivo models that they'd used before, and it allows them to develop uh, drugs effectively to treat those conditions. From the point of view of other laboratories, obviously we've distributed our cells and our model to many uh, different laboratories and companies, and it's also the basis of our ongoing innovative medicines initiative research that's funded by the European Union at the moment. It certainly had a, a very long and um, important effect both inside the university and in the wider community.